Right, boys and girls, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're joined down with Chris. Well, he's just gone, actually. We're, going, we're actually at Glue Moors yet again, and we're going to be fitting, because my car's running a tiny bit lumpy at the minute, and my car's on about 42,000 miles now, so I thought it would be a good time to get ourselves some new spark plugs. So we've got ourselves some Denso Iridium spark plugs. I was going to get NGK ones, but they didn't have any in stock, so I couldn't, and I wanted to get them done today. I wanted to get it all done before the map, basically, and just make sure my car's running all good before the remap. Um, but yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get back to the unit now with Chris. He's just picking up some stuff. Get back to the unit, and once that's done, I'm gonna step, walk you through step by step how you can how you're gonna change the spark plugs on your Fiesta ST. It's pretty simple. Um, just take out. Well, I'll show you all later. It's pretty easy. I'll join you back in just a second. Yeah. Alright, so first things first, we're gonna take off the um, engine cover, which is really really easy. So once that's off, what you've basically got to do is you've got your four coil packs right here and all these, I believe that, I think they're eight mil, uh, eight mil bolts. You've got to get an eight mil socket on and you've got like this breather hose here as well. That just needs to literally come off here. Um, I will do that all in a minute. And then once that comes off, you can like move it over here and you can undo all these coil packs. Once the coil packs are off, uh, well, obviously you need to unclip the, like the fuses that they are here, yeah, like fuses like going into the um the connections going into the coil packs you need to undo them first obviously and then once you've undone them um they just literally pull back and a silver bit and they should slide off hopefully really easily which trying to do this one handed is a right pain in the fucking ass right well that's what you have to do anyway you have to take all these off all these side bits back pull them off and then once these are all off and everything's undone etc i will show you all right You need to do this, Luke. Look, so. it is. They're on little clips, mate. Yeah, you need yeah. to. Yeah, oh, they, oh, is it poking and poking out, is it? They're just fucking on tight. There we go, got the coil packs out now. Um, once they're out, you don't have to worry about which which one goes back in where. They they can all go in any back. They don't have to be in the same ones they was in. It is an eight mil bolt that you usually just take all these out first. You can then take out the clips first. When it comes to these clips, make sure you pull it out and then hold it down and it will come out a lot easier. I had a bit of trouble with it. Um, for this breather hose, I think I've just snapped the clip. I'm pretty sure I have, but it's fine. We'll sort that out. So when about that, as you can see, I don't even know if you can see, 
spark plugs yeah they're a little bit spark plugs are down there so just get new spark plugs um get yourself a socket i don't know if it's like a 14 mil or 15 mil spark plug socket but we'll get one now and i'll let you know you guys know which one it is and then we'll get them out and put new ones in so yeah all good all right so you need yourself a little 16 mil um spark plug socket like this it has like a little grommet in it just so that spark plug sticks in place so we're going to use that now get the others out and put new ones in Take it then! Yeah, possibly. Because when it, when it's cold it demands the best spark it can get because there's no heat in the cylinder. But when it's hot, when it's hot, when it's hot, it doesn't need a as big a spark because there's the heat still in the cylinder to ignite the fuel already. So I'm doing the right thing. Is he in or not? Maybe you've got to do it with your fingers tight first. Sure, so I might even get better fuel economy now as well. Yeah, you probably should really. Don't fucking cross thread the cunt if we leave. Fuck ten. <laughs> See, this is the fucking the swipe of the beamer. Right, Getting right. the socket out. Because the grommet, the grommet that's holding the spark plug in. Solid. So there is the old one. As you can see, a little tip bit at the top, not the bottom bit, it's a bit at the top. I'm not too fucking shit on this, Grout's a bit better and knowledgeable than this because he's got a better, better grade in science, not me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, basically that's completely fucked, I'd say. Well, it's not completely fucked, but it's like probably 60, 70% worn in it, probably something like that. Oh no, there's no tip on the top at all. Compared to, let me get a new one out, where's the new one? Get it on the camera. Get it on the camera. See the tip so the top of the That's tip. the old one, and then this one kind of now is a new one. So as you can see, the tip at the top there, Compared to the old one, There's, there is a tip at the top of the new one, but not on the old one, so it's worn. It's completely worn, so we're putting in, putting in, if you're doing the right thing, we're putting new ones in. Right, so Chris helped me out with that. They're all done now, got all the new spark plugs in. Don't know if you can really see them actually, I'm trying to get some good light. Right, you can't really see them, but yeah, they're done so already in ones. They're all in now, I'm just going to literally put the old coil packs back in, do all back up, and then I'll go to you guys after that, probably to end of the video. So yeah, hopefully this hasn't helped you out. If it has, give this video a thumbs up. You probably can't hear me that well, because it is quite loud here. So it's all done up. Make sure you do it all up. I messed up in cylinder one, and I had a bit of a misfire for about 30 seconds, but we took the coil pack back out, and then put it back on, and it was fine again. So we're gonna put the end of the cover back on, and then take it for a little drive, see if it's driving fine, and then I'll probably finish up with you guys in the car. Right boys, how's it going? So I'm going to end off this video here. I forgot to end the video again. I keep doing this. It's a bad habit. I need to get out of it. Yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that spark plug um, install video. It is kind of simple if you know what you're doing. I pretty much knew what I was doing, but like when it comes to pulling out like the clips and stuff like that. So make sure when you do pull out those clips on the cool packs, you pull out the little pin bit first, then push down on it and then pull it out. It will come out really easy. I was just, I was just having a pickle with it basically. But yeah, hopefully it's helped you guys out. Um, definitely go get them changed or checked if you um, need to. It's made a lot of difference to my car. Car's not as running as lumpy anymore. And on cold start, it used to idle really, really badly. And it's not doing that anymore, which is really good. Um, fuel, f fuel economy's gone a bit better by about two, three miles per gallon. Nothing crazy, but it's a bit better than what it was before. And, you know, it's just a really helpful tutorial for you guys. Um, make sure you do get yourself that 16mm um, socket for the for the spark plugs. It's got like a little grommet inside it. Really helpful. It's like a, like a star socket. I can make sure it's slim as well, like a slim star socket with a grommet in. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. Got yourself a ratchet and stuff like that. And you'll all be good to go. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to round off this video, end off this video here. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, give it a thumbs up. Um, as always, all my social media and that is in the description down below if you want to get in contact with me. Check out my Instagram. Check out my Snapchat. Um, anything on Instagram, you'll probably see there first before you see on YouTube. So, if you want to check that out, you can. And, yeah, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, as always, um, if you haven't already. And hit the bell button to be notified every single time I upload. I'm shattered and I'm trying to talk really fast and it's not working. But, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Love you, as always. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye for now.